Hello, it is Throwback Thursday, June 9th, 2022. Steve Cypress here, throwing it back. Uh, first of all, throwing it back way back to towards the end of World War II, 1944, I believe, 6644 D Day. Earlier this week was the anniversary of that amazing, practically doomed to death attack by the brave soldiers on the beaches of Normandy as, uh, as they went in to, uh, to turn the tide in World War II. And it was a practically a suicide mission. That of the, boy, those are the days now. Uh, you know, young men today, if can you, are, I don't know, are they men? We don't know. We don't know what's a woman. We probably know what's a man. We don't know what they're identifying as. Could be one of 862 different genders and pronouns. Uh, and that's my point. They are so weak today that they get upset if you don't call them by the right pronoun. Uh, but back then, they went into uh, what was near, uh, not near certain, but a tremendous uh, percentage of death and injury uh, in that attack on D-Day. So we thank all of our service people all around the world in whatever country and hopefully you're, you are thanking your current, past and future brave people who sacrifice uh, so that uh, we can be protected here in the US. For the most part, uh, at least for now, we have freedom, although uh, things are being pushed in a Marxist communist direction, but we'll see what happens. Usually it's a pendulum and it swings back, so hopefully it does, and we retain our freedom. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about, throwing it back, is only a few years ago, maybe three years ago or so. But uh, let's just say, to be safe, five, six years ago, Subway, the worldwide uh, sandwich franchise chain, which at one point, I don't know if they still are, could have looked it up, but they had the most franchises in the world of any business that was operating under the franchise model. They passed by McDonald's and there were more Subway franchises than any other business in the history of the world using franchising. Uh, but they ran a campaign and we, uh, I've spoken about it and taught, uh, and, uh, taught on it and had uh, clients and, and business owners and entrepreneurs use similar strategy and tactics in their marketing. They had the $5 foot long marketing strategy. Won't get into all the details about it, but the basis of it was you come in and you get their large Subway sandwich with all the fixings, anything you want on it, 12 inch long sub on the homemade bread and anything you want for five bucks. Hard to imagine now because uh, I was out and about with my beautiful wife, Michelle, and her mom, and uh, on the way back from being out for the day, my beautiful wife, Michelle, did not want to, she's like, I don't want to have to cook anything. I didn't even think she said that, I just uh, suggested. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you don't want to cook anything. Right, so let's get some meat. We stopped in a couple of restaurants that the menus weren't great, and I said, you know, tried and true, let's just go to the subway, and everyone can get exactly what they want, and uh, it's quick, and we'll take it home, eat it, and be done with it, and watch a movie or something. Well. I was a little shocked, and of course I shouldn't be. Where have I been? Uh, there's no more $5 foot long. I knew that. They ended that uh, marketing campaign a few years back. But there's not even a $6 foot long, or a 7 or an 8 or a $9 foot long, or a 10 or an 11 or a $12 foot long. The foot long in the subway where we were, right here just outside of sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, $12.99. Twelve ninety nine for a foot long. I think it was six ninety nine for the six inch for the half. So even the half inch isn't five bucks. The half foot, the six inch isn't even five bucks anymore. That's six ninety nine. So now I guess if they ran a special, the five dollar half foot long, people would be like, "Wow, that's amazing!" and come running in. So what happened? Well, obviously the shutdown took its toll, caused all kinds of problems besides all the the raised rates of suicide and depression and bankruptcy and, and uh, you know, marriage troubles and kids uh, being left behind and, uh, you know, all kinds of issues and all kinds of health issues with people, uh, you know, uh, cancer and other uh, issues being more pronounced because of all the shutdowns, 
you know, I always uh, shake my head when people, you can tell when people blame uh, the problems, uh, they say, well, that was due to COVID. Well, no, of course it was not due to a disease. It was due to government's response to the virus. Some people running governments responded properly and others decided to take the opportunity to crush business owners and to shut down schools and churches and wreck lives and, uh, and so forth. So it wasn't, of course, due to the virus. It was due to government authoritarian, arbitrary, anti-science responses to the virus. Of course, it caused a lot of trouble. Now, of course, you have, at least here in the U.S., just completely untapped, unchecked, more than ever, and it's usually a lot, government spending of money we don't even have, so they just print up trillions of dollars, spending like, well, I'd say like there's no tomorrow, and pretty much as far as our economy goes, there is no tomorrow because of it, and so inflation is hit. And you know, because you run a business, if you're, if you don't, you really shouldn't be watching my videos there for business owners, and we all know that it's tough to find people to work, and all of our supplies cost more, and, you know, I get a chuckle out of the nonsense, anyone that believes that inflation is at some kind of a rate around 8.3% or whatever they say, and everyone knows. I mean, you can't even name a single thing you buy that's up only 8%. So how can an average be 8%? Things are up probably close to or over 20% overall. And so you would expect that the footlong, that maybe the $5 footlong at the time, it was such a great deal of $5, it was going for six ninety nine or seven fifty or something. Uh, twenty percent of that is uh, I don't know another couple of bucks. Let's just say buck and a half, so maybe nine dollars. No, nope, nowhere near it. Twelve ninety nine, almost fifty percent higher than what you would think would be a natural increase uh, in the price, even with inflation being eight. If inflation was eight percent, heck, it would have gone up from seven bucks to seven fifty six. Like, give me a break. Twelve ninety nine. So. What's the business lesson in all this? Well, I'm gonna tie the two together. So we are either in, at least here in the US and, and pretty much a lot of places around the world, I have clients and, and, uh, and uh, business owners who call in and, and go to helpfromsteve.com and get on my calendar. I talked to a business owner today in the UK and I talked to business owners all over the world. There is uh, economic troubles everywhere. Uh, some a lot worse than the US, some a little better than the US. But we are either in or we are about to be officially in a recession. We've had here in the U.S. the definition of recession is two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth, gross domestic product growth. Uh, and we had one already. And so if the next one is negative, that makes it official, which would mean right now we're in a recession, just haven't been notified yet, or it's coming soon. But either way, whatever you want to call it, down economy, tough economy, recession, tough times, that's where we're at. So prices are up, and yet income is not. Uh, that means things are about to get, as it always goes in cycles, things are about to get real tough for businesses. And even though most businesses fail, even when things are going good, businesses go out of business, even more are going to fail over the ne next, say, year or two. So you want to make sure. See, that, that's how I tie it into D-Day. Okay, uh, it's that dangerous as, as not, not to your life, of course, of uh, floating up in a boat and being a sitting duck for the gun turrets up on the hills to be shooting at people. But running a business right now, oh, it is a suicide mission. It's going to get tough. It's going to get a lot and a lot and a lot. It's always tough to run a business, but it's going to get a lot tougher before it ever gets any better. So... Now is the time where little mistakes matter and get magnified. You know, when times are good, you can make a mistake here or there. You can, you can not be so aggressive with your advertising, sales, marketing efforts. You can get by, Think everyone's buying, things are happening, people have money, discretionary funds, they're spending, they're buying, everyone's in a good mood. Not right now, not in a down economy and not for the foreseeable future. Right now, you've got to do the right things. Certain things you do in a downturn economy that are different than in a booming economy, and you've got to make those right moves. Time is precious. Money is precious right now. You don't have time to mess up, and you certainly need to avoid making the major mistakes 
that could, you know, in a boom time, that could just cost you some money and time and, oh man, you know, that's too bad. But in a downtime, it could be the last straw that's the end of your business. And then what? You got to go work for somebody else that actually knew how to get their business through the tough time and succeed and paid attention to what I teach and other experts. And so then you got to go work for them. And who the heck wants to do that? So uh, hopefully, uh, pay attention to my videos. I'll, I'll be with you here every day. And I will generally be speaking as I have been for, I don't know, the last couple of months. And I will continue to give you concrete things that you should do and that you absolutely desperately want to avoid doing to not only make it through this recession, but to have a fantastic, at least a financial fantastic experience, even though it's going to be, you know, tough times overall. It's not like we're gleeful and we're celebrating just like we didn't during the shutdowns and celebrate that people's lives were crushed and things were shut down. But it was a time of tremendous opportunity. As businesses fall by the wayside, those customers got to go somewhere. So if your competitors aren't paying attention to me or other people who know what they're doing, you know, I built three different multi-million dollar businesses all started during downturns in the economy, all during down times. First one, the early 80s, just after the, the dreadful Carter years, although now it's didn't think it would ever happen. But now this third term of Obama slash Bernie Sanders, whoever's actually in charge, is driving the U.S. economy into the ground. It's even worse than back then. Uh, but I had another major success uh, towards the, uh, the uh, just the beginning of this century, the dot-com bubble bursting, causing trouble again. And then I had another major success uh, that I started in 2008, when the last recession started in the fall of 2008. So three times there have been downturns and three times I've had massively successful business startups. So it's a great time, but again, only if you're doing the right things and avoiding making the big mistakes. So you want help from me, stick around here and I'll share them in my videos. You can go to my blog, my podcast, or you can go to my calendar at helpfromsteve.com and I'll give you some quick tips and send you on your way. Uh, but you definitely want to get help. You definitely want to be careful. You do not want to get shot. Have your business shot down like a fish in a barrel. And being as much shock as I was when I went at the subway and the footlong was twelve ninety nine. No wonder they don't have a five dollar footlong anymore. My goodness. And of course, prices all over the place are shocking. I mean you can see in the background of this video some homes across the street there up on the mountain. Uh homes that were, you know, three point two million, now four point five million. Homes that were six hundred thousand going for a million and so forth and so forth. And I know it's the same wherever you are. Prices are up, oh, sorry, they're up 8.3% according to the official US government, which of course is always truthful and right about everything. So we trust them implicitly. Anyway, that'll do it for Throwback Thursday, June 9th, 2022. I'll catch you back here again tomorrow. On Foundation Friday, we're going into an all new chapter in the fantastic foundational book, The Magic of Thinking Big by Dr. David J. Schwartz. I hope you will join me for some fantastic information tomorrow to help you, again, to make it through this downtime, this recession, this tough economy, whatever you want to call it. Let's not just survive. Let's kick some butt. Catch you tomorrow.